What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So one thing that I've actually noticed about my videos since starting my YouTube channel here is that I've been talking a lot about gear and just material pieces of camera equipment, but not so much about photography in general and the art of photography and really what I was passionate about in the first place that motivated me to even create this channel. So today I wanted to do a video all about why I shoot film and film has been a huge huge part of my photography journey in the past year and I would argue probably one of the biggest steps that I've taken in my photography journey ever and so that's why I wanted to dedicate a whole video to it because I want to inspire other people to go out and shoot film. So film photography is actually something that my parents are much more accustomed to because when my dad first started shooting photography and got into photography as a hobby, film cameras and analog photography was all they really had in that time. So they learned photography basics all on film. Now when it came to the point where I started getting into photography and wanting to learn photography, digital cameras were already super popular and honestly pretty advanced already. So having the ability to basically shoot really beautiful photos without actually knowing the basics of photography was something that I really just embraced. And that leads me into my first reason of why I really love film and shooting film and that's because it is such a great way to learn photography basics. So when it comes to film, the camera that I actually picked up first was an old school SLR camera. Now, I was lucky enough to get an Aperture Priority one, which is the Olympus OM-10, with the option to shoot fully manual. However, that being said, a lot of photos that I shot before then, even on my Olympus digital camera, I simply shot on automatic mode. And when I started learning film, I was pretty much forced to actually understand what ISO is, what aperture is, what shutter speed is, and be able to play around with each of those settings to determine what kind of photo I wanted to get out of it. And so that's where film photography really is a great learning tool, is you don't have the crutch of a fully auto mode to lean on. That being said, there are definitely more advanced film cameras out there if a point and shoot is more up your alley or you just want a camera that will automatically expose for you if there are other reasons why you want to shoot film. However, I would say if you have an opportunity to get a fully manual SLR or rangefinder camera, it is such a game changer in really understanding photography basics and the exposure triangle. So the next reason why I love film is simply for the film stocks. There is no look like the look of film and that's something that I really started to learn as I saw more film photos, as I followed more film photographers on Instagram, is I started recognizing the film photos because they're so beautiful and unique. Another thing is that I do minimal editing on my film photos which is actually really nice because I spend less time in post-production and more time actually taking the photo. However, this reason definitely depends on the person and the type of photography and photos a photographer likes to shoot. Some people don't like the look of film. There's grain introduced. There's just kind of this automatic filter that's put on it, on the image, and sometimes people like to spend a lot of time editing raw photos. For me personally, I love the whole straight out of camera type of feel that film gives me. And like I said, some of my favorite film stocks I just can't cannot replicate in post-production if I shoot a raw photo and want to somehow get that specific look afterwards. I just can't seem to get it and I think that's one of the reasons why film will probably be irreplaceable to me because it just gives that unique look. So the next reason is that I find that shooting film actually allows me to one, enjoy the process of shooting the photo a lot more, but also to allow me to stay in the moment and in that memory more. Now, sometimes photographers get a pretty bad rep because people like to give them a little bit of flack and will say like, oh, you only wanna come out here to shoot the photo or you just do this to get the Instagram photo. For some photographers that is true, but for me, I've found that shooting film actually allows me to be in the moment more or enjoy the process 
process of shooting the photo more which is something that I really love without focusing so much on the photo itself. This is largely because you spend a little bit of extra effort to properly adjust your settings so that your photo is going to be exposed correctly. You look for a nice composition in the environment that you're in and it allows you to focus on the photo taking process. But then once you take that photo, you're not automatically looking at like your LCD screen asking, is this photo good enough for Instagram? Or no, I have to retake it, let me zoom in. You take the photo and then you're done. You just move on back into the moment or back into memory that you're making without focusing so much on the photo itself. So the next reason that I love shooting film is actually the fact that having limited exposures allows for more consideration of each photo. This is something that really depends on the way you shoot film. I often find myself leaving the house with one roll in the camera and that's pretty much it, which means either 36 photos max on a 35 millimeter roll of film or 15 exposures maximum on my medium format film camera, which is a 6x45 camera. And having these limited exposures really Really allows me to carefully consider each and every photo that I'm taking. Part of this goes back to point three where a lot of times I can find myself enjoying the moment more because I'm not constantly taking photos because of the limited exposures and only sticking to photos at very specific moments where I'm kind of like wow this is a really great composition or this is a really great view that I want to capture on film and that allows for me to also really love all of the photos that I I take on film. Are there photos that I've taken on film that I just are never going to be seen by anyone else but myself? Yes, of course. But I actually find that on almost all of the scans I get back from my film lab, I just love such a high proportion of those photos because each and every one of them I put a lot of thought into as well as getting the settings right, making sure it's in focus, and the composition was something that I genuinely really wanted to capture. And getting so many photos back that you love is such a motivating feeling to continue to shoot photos because loving all of these photos makes you just want to go out and shoot more photos that you're gonna love just as much. So the last reason that I love shooting film is actually the reason why I started shooting film as well as the reason why I will continue shooting film. And that is simply because it is what made me fall in love with photography again. This past year, I definitely hit a slump in terms of being motivated to go out and shoot photos because although I've loved photography for years and years and years, I think I started to realize that a lot of that love for photography was fueled by going to new places, places Places that I thought were cooler than others and wanting to capture these extravagant landscapes or really cool scenes and travel locations on camera. And it wasn't so much about the photography itself, but it was about the photo itself. And that's where I really took a hit in terms of creativity and inspiration this past year because of not traveling and just the fact that I was seeing the same things every single day, whatever was in my neighborhood or whatever was local to me and I don't live out in the west of the US so I was telling myself, wow, everything is so boring. I just don't want to take pictures of anything. And so I started kind of deciding, okay, maybe I want to look into photography and see other photographers more on YouTube to see if I can get inspiration from them. And honestly, that led me down the path of a lot of people shooting film and watching their film videos. So I got myself an SLR, put a few rolls through it, and I just walked around my neighborhood. And some of my favorite film photos are photos that are taken taken at home or in the neighborhood or in local hikes just around me that I originally thought were super boring. And while maybe the photo itself is not the most extravagant photo, it's not this crazy landscape that's gonna sell a million prints, but it is really the story behind it, the process behind me taking the photo that makes me fall in love with the photo itself. And it might not mean anything else to anyone else, but it means something to me. And that is what really fueled me up about shooting photos again. I was so like rejuvenated by shooting film that it carried over into digital. And I was finding myself really loving shooting with the X-Pro2 simply because I was saving money on not shooting a bunch of film. And so for me, film is what really made me fall in love 
love with photography again. I haven't shot a ton of film recently because I've been super excited to shoot digitally, but I know that one, as soon as the weather starts warming up, I'll be whipping out the film cameras again. But also two, anytime I really do hit that funk with digital, film photography will be there for me to get me excited about photography again. So I hope by watching this video, you will be inspired by one or more of the reasons behind why I like shooting film. And I encourage anyone who has never shot film before to just look into maybe a cheaper film camera, purchase some inexpensive film stock, and just shoot a few rolls of film because shooting film really has been such a big game changer for me and I can't even imagine my photography hobby without it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you shoot film, please let me know down below why you started and why you still continue to shoot film because I love to hear why other people do and how you find it special as well as leaving any tips for anyone who is looking into starting to shoot film down below because I'll be honest I learned a lot of stuff after I started shooting film just from me having to figure it out while I was out shooting. I've been really enjoying reading everybody's comments on my past videos and if you enjoyed this video as well as other photography content including more film photography content and videos on Olympus and Fujifilm gear. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of those type of videos. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you all for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one.